Springs, Arkansas, on our way to the boyhood home of its most famous resident. That resident's name, William Jefferson Clinton, the 42nd president of the United States. We're coming up to his boyhood home right now. This is where he lived from around eight years old all the way up through his teenage years. And the house is right here behind us. As you can see, it's a private drive, no tours, vans, or buses. It is owned privately by a resident. You would have to think that one day this will become some sort of a museum. I'll try to get a better view of it. There it is. You would think at some point it will become some sort of museum, but right now it's owned privately and you can't go up there. Clinton lived here for quite a few years. We're going to take you around his hometown here in Hot Springs. We're going to tell you some history, some of the cool hangout spots where Bill Clinton hung out in this town. We cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. Clinton decided that he wanted to go into politics while he lived in this house. Probably got a good workout too on these stairs running up and down as a kid. <laughs> Check out that hill. Yeah, it's quite the hill. Of them. Yeah. I read a book back when I was a teenager about Bill Clinton. And it said in the book that Clinton decided he wanted to be president at a very young age while he was living in this house actually. He started to formulate everything he did in his life based around that. He wanted to become a lawyer. He wanted to do really well in school. He wanted to run for local office. He, of course, became governor of Arkansas. It was all a big plan to become president, and he obviously succeeded at that plan. Clinton's father died in a car accident before he was born. His mother, Virginia Kelly, got married again to Roger Clinton. Roger got drunk and beat Clinton's mother on a regular basis here. The house was built in 1896. The Clintons lived here from 1954 to 1961. Behind us is where Bill Clinton attended elementary school. Yeah, this was Ramble Elementary School when Bill Clinton was a boy. It's just a short walk, really, from his childhood home. This red brick building, which was an auditorium at the school, is all that's left. The rest of the school's gone. And of course, it's fenced in, blocked off. It's nothing now, apparently, just an abandoned building. At the time, though, when Bill Clinton was going to school, the kids would gather in the auditorium in the morning time every day to do prayer, to do songs, to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Also, students remember Bill Clinton playing a saxophone in that building with the rest of the members of the band during lunchtime musical performances. Here's a picture of Clinton at the school in 1958. We're at Park Place Baptist Church where Bill Clinton attended while he was a child. Hey, he came here pretty much every Sunday. His mom even said that she had to work a lot of Sundays. He'd grab his Bible head on out and walk down here all by himself to attend church it was very important to him. Also, he was baptized right inside of this church. At the age of six, Clinton started making the mile long trip to church as often as he could to get away from the trouble at home. When he was nine, he wrote, I had absorbed enough of my church's teachings to know I was a sinner and to want Jesus to save me. So I profess my faith in Christ and ask to be baptized. Our next stop on the list is Bailey's Dairy Treat. Yeah, it was called the Polar Bar at the time. It's just down the street from the church from Bill Clinton's childhood home. He and his buddies would walk down here. Actually, one of his friends, his name was Ronnie Cecil, and his dad owned this place. Bill Clinton's favorite meal here, chili cheeseburger. Of course, Clinton enjoyed cheeseburgers when he was in the White House, too. He also used to enjoy a local drink called Great Pet here. The building behind us? It's a community building. It used to be called the Y. It was the YM and the YW. The kids called it the Y. It's where the high schoolers came for dances on the weekends. It's also where Bill Clinton's jazz trio called the Three Kings would perform. They also called the band the Three Blind Mice sometimes because they wore dark sunglasses when they performed. Just like Heather and I are wearing now. Woohoo! The slogan for the band was swing pretty hard with some cool jazz. Just down the street from the Y was Cook's Ice Cream. It's now nothing. As a matter of fact, they're doing some work in there. They're probably going to open up something else in there. It was a furniture store at one point. But at the time, it was actually the manufacturing plant for Cook's Ice Cream. And they sold their product up front. So after the dance and after the jazz performances at the Y, the kids would head down here and enjoy that cold, delicious treat of ice cream. Yum. Yummy. Yummy. The building is being remodeled now. Our next stop is McClard's Barbecue. This is a favorite place to eat for Clinton and his friends. It's another situation where one of his classmates, the father of Brenda Thompson, owned McClard's Barbecue. I'm not sure who owns it now, if it's still in the family or not. But this barbecue shop was actually used in an opening of a sitcom on CBS. You know which one it was? Probably not. Tell us in the comments section below. This has also been voted the best barbecue in all of America 
by I think an NBC reporter. So pretty good food in there. Barbecue recipes from the restaurant are still available in the Clinton Presidential Center cookbook. Hi friends. Oh, hi. In 1961, the Clintons moved to this house, 213 Scully. Yeah, it's just a few miles away from their other house. I'm not sure why they sold the other property, but at any rate, this is where they ended up. They stayed here until 1964, which is the year that Bill Clinton headed off to college. He actually went to Georgetown University and it's the only school that he applied to. So that's very wanted to go. I guess that was part of his whole presidential plan. They had a basketball goal above the garage when they lived here. Behind us is the building that used to be Bill Clinton's high school. Hey, yeah, graduated from here in 1964. It's a beautiful old building. It's actually not even a school anymore, though. There's some kind of four lease sign over there. We're not sure what they're about to turn it into. Clinton played the saxophone while he attended school here. He even played it so well that he was selected to become a member of the Allstate Band. Up next is Malco, which was Bill Clinton's favorite movie theater when he was a child. It was a pretty cool thing they offered here at Malco in the summertime. Kids could get in with just the tops of their RC Cola bottles. That would be the price of admission. I wish theater stood that, that today. Why not? Parents would love that. Clinton writes about the theater in his book, My Life. Bill Clinton's senior banquet was held here. Yeah, it's now a parking lot. It was the Round Table Restaurant. That's where they had it. Actually, a reptile garden. It's opening in 2020 right here this year. Woo! Woo! At any rate, this is where it was. It became another restaurant and now it got torn down as a parking lot. Clinton later said he lost his wallet that night and his mother was not pleased. This first United Methodist Church is absolutely gorgeous. Love all the brickwork. Our favorite thing about this church is this beautiful mural of Jesus. Our next stop is Central Lane's Bowling Alley. Clinton and his friends spent many hours here bowling. No idea if he was a good bowler though. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, who knows? But he had fun doing it. And we hope you had fun watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along.